guys, we're gonna make a cheesecake in the Instapot Milky Pot for the first time. <laughs> this is my first time doing this in the, not making a cheesecake, but making it in the Instant Pot, but I think it's gonna be fine. So if we're gonna do the crust first, I'm gonna take an entire package of graham crackers. I'm gonna crunch them up here. Usually, I'll put them in a plastic bag and go over with a rolling pin, which I probably will do. I'm just going to see how well they're working there. But ASMR. Okay. Whoa, there we go. Hold on. graham crackers in here. I'm going to take four tablespoons of melted butter and two teaspoons of brown sugar and whisk it together until it's like a wet sand. I've buttered and lined the bottom of my pan with parchment, putting my spring form on top, and that I'm going to just rub a little bit of butter on the sides. Okay, and then the butter at the top of this parchment somewhat. All right, and I'm going to put my mixture in there and, whoops, I'm too well today. Put my mixture in there and, and press down and it, it will come up the sides, which is fine. This is a, I believe it's a six inch pan. I bought a kit. I'll put the link in the video description. You might have seen it in my Amazon haul. Now, usually with a cheesecake, you'll bake this for five minutes, but what we're gonna do is put it in the freezer. Okay, so for the filling, we're going to take two eight ounce packages of cream cheese, 16 ounces of cream cheese, soften that you wanna soften on the counter. We're going to take a half a cup of sour cream. going to take it two-thirds cup of sugar. We're going to take two tablespoons of cornstarch and we're going to put a pinch of salt. You could have put a pinch of salt in the, actually two pinches of salt in here, um, in the crust, but I don't really cook with salt so I'm just going to put it in the filling, but if you want you can put it in the crust. And then we're going to take two eggs And I'm going to beat this together, not overbeat it, just get it smooth. Okay, so we're going to put our filling in here. Okay, 
and we're gonna get our little thingy that's gonna let us pull the cheesecake out. Now it's in there, all right? Let's see, cake is gonna give us 40, but we want, we want it on 28. And it's on, and we're just going to let it do a slow release. And so, it's going to cook that. All right, and we'll check back in a little bit. Okay guys, so I just came back from my bike ride and this is good to go. So just bent it, make sure. Um, and get some cheese for it, huh? The cheesecake? Okay, now pretty hot. I have to get something to lift uh, it out of there right now. Can I have something to give it that way? What's this thing right here? I would not. Huh? Ready? Ready to Two teaspoons of sugar and two heaping tablespoons of sour cream for the top. Ooh, for the top? It's not gonna be like whipped cream. I'm working it the way it says. This is supposed to be the best cheesecake ever. So I'm just going to mix this up. Feel a little bit sweeter. Okay. So now I'm just going to put this on. You can put food on it later if you want, but we're just going to This in the freezer so you can Don't ever think anything that we find. Alright, I'll tell you see when it's I'm gonna leave it in the freezer in about 25 minutes and then I'll move it to the refrigerator. Okay. Okay, here's the cheesecake. I'm going to top it with some fresh berries and see how it is. So hang on a second. I was thinking of making a strawberry, you know, with some sugar over the stove and making that type of, making that type of topping. But then I just decided to put some fresh berries and see how that goes. I'm going to cut into this and see what it looks like. Let's see how our Instapot cheesecake is. I didn't cut all the way up there, but it's a nice high cheesecake. Okay, so you can garnish with additional berries. You could even use some fresh cream if you want. Um,
Okay, so let's see how it tastes, right? That is really good. Mm. Nice New York style. It's going to get even better as it gets even colder. I hope you guys give it a try and you like it. Let me know.